Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower. When we last left off, we got the infamous ending G. Uh, unfortunately, to get the rest of the endings, we need to start the game again and follow the guide to the letter. To the absolute letter. So, without any further bullshit, let's get back into it. Can't wait. But I'm not having this game beat me. Even if I have to take a unfair advantage. Oh god, here we are again. Lissa just called. She'll be arriving tonight. I really think it's okay having her stay with us. Children don't know anything about it. Everything will be okay. Okay. Anyway, Ashley will be home soon. Don't look so worried. That might be Ashley. I'll go and see. Yeah, you go do that, my dear. You go and have a look, see who's at the door. No sense of urgency whatsoever. Right, so I've got my guide there. Alan Hale, that Maxwell curse. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Is I forgot. He gets a little bit dark there. That Maxwell curse. The Maxwell curse that doesn't uh, actually exist, or does it? Because last we heard, there's some kind of weird uh, mystical voodoo going on. And here we are again, guys. Once more with feeling. Hello, Yellow curse. Uncle Philip? Doll. Aunt Catherine? It's Alyssa. Hmm. I don't think anyone's around, Alyssa. At least not anyone that you want to talk to. <gasps> Was that? I couldn't tell you. Sounded like electricity. Right, before we do anything, lads and lasses, we are going to save the game. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we save it. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is enter the toilet. Just like we did originally. Now, this is so arty because you have to play the game in such a specific way. Hmm. Inspect the toilet bowl. I think... Where there's a switch in here, isn't there? Oh no, the switch is actually on the outside. I remember. Yeah, my toilet's like this as well. The light for the toilet's actually on the outside, which is weird. It's great when people are over and you're having a drink, because you can fuck with people by turning the light off when they're upstairs. Which is fantastic. Ooh, now look. Mm. This is so weird. Like, why? Why is there... A foot in the toilet with yellow piss everywhere. What's that? I don't know, Alyssa. Maybe it's a foot. Ooh. Scary. Scary, scary stuff. Alright, let's get out of here. To the bathroom. It should be this one, I think. I do have a map, but it's a bit weird. Yeah. We need to go here. Ooh, and there is more urine everywhere. All right, let's turn the light on before we do anything. <clears throat> and there's a key somewhere, if memory serves. Up here, I think so. I wonder what this key goes to. Yeah, that's the key we need. For upstairs, I think. Now, do we actually... Yeah, now we have to inspect the bathtub. Because it's got like a torso in there. Like, look at that shit. Hmm. I don't know, Alyssa, but that's what we intend to find out. There's a creepy kid voice again. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go into the dining room. We're not going to go upstairs just yet. For we have more important tasks ahead of us. Ah, the dining room. 
Now, according to the map, we're there, so we need to go over and across. We need to go, in, is it this one? Yeah, this one, I think. Let's try it, because that should be the key to that room. Hmm, it's locked. Well, hopefully, we have the key to that one. Stick that key in that there lock, Alyssa. Excellent. Some mighty fine progress so far, I think. So, if I save it... I want to keep saving it under another slot. Just so I don't make any mistakes. Because, uh, as I say, if we make any mistakes, that fucks everything up. So, now we're in here. What do we do now? Hmm. Okay, so now, apparently, we have to pick up the amulets. I mean, there's a flopping arm flopping all over what the place. Is that? Now that's actually a zombie arm, interestingly enough. But what I'm kind of confused at is it's not dead. Now, surely that thing doesn't have a brain. Owing to the fact that it's, you know, dead. Where's the amulet? This is dining room two, isn't it? Hmm... So, what does it say here? Inspect the table. Oh, right, okay. Now we've got to get back out of here. Okay, that was confusing. <clears throat> Go back to corridor one. Hmm. So corridor one is upstairs. Gotcha. So back through this dining room. Isn't it crazy though? Just like how? Because this is 1999. Like Resident Evil looks so much better than this. And I know it's a little bit unfair because they went for the pre-rendered stuff. But it definitely was the right thing to do. Right, now we have to use the switch here, apparently. Well, let's just double check this. So, go to corridor one. This is corridor one. Uh, yeah, this is corridor one. We've got the toilet. Turn on the switch, enter the toilets. So why can't we do anything up here? Won't actually let us go through that, which is interesting. Go upstairs. Ah, go upstairs, go into bedroom two. Right, which is that one. I think. Yeah, because and then bedroom two is the one there, not directly in front of us. Because the one directly in front of us is bedroom three. Okay. So we have to inspect the suitcase now. Ooh, hello. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are you complaining about, woman? So I guess Ashley is toast. My amulet? No, what? stop. Your amulet? Oh, so this has to happen. We have to turn into baits. I see. So, so far, everything is going to plan. So, the only thing we have to do now 
Right, so now we have to go back down to dining room two. Yeah, okay. See, this is what's confusing, because we can search that statue at any point, obviously, since since we've discovered it. But you have to do it at a certain point. Like, we can't actually examine it yet, apparently. Because if we do, everything goes wrong. And we obviously don't want everything to go wrong now, do we? Uh, now, back to dining room two. Grab our amulet. Hmm. Which I'm not sure where that's going to be. Where exactly that's going to be in dining room too. Oh. Just spawns on the floor. Uh, right, let's grab you. It's Alyssa's amulet. Mm-hmm. Which keeps you away, Mr. Bait. Now, let's go back. So, cool, we're on track. We're just going to ignore the fact that the phone is ringing. Like, nobody gives a shit about that. All right, if we can skip all this, we can. Excellent. So, I'm assuming we're on track thus far. We'll soon find out anyway. Now we can turn all this shit on in here. So we're going to turn the light on. We're going to go into the bathroom. Like so. And then through there. And we're going to grab the piece that's in here. Come on, Lissa. Feeling much better now we've got the gun. Now, let's go see if this works. Because this is the pivotal moment. Now we have to examine the armor. I think. Yeah. This will activate the statue from now on. It will randomly appear in certain rooms. There is no way you can kill it. But it won't follow you around. Just leave and wait a few minutes. And it will disappear to another room. No, no, no. We don't want you to go back through there. God damn it. See, this didn't activate on our playthrough. Yeah, how creepy. Yes, this didn't happen. Okay. Now, it will come towards us and kill us. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on with that, to be honest. I don't know why it's, like, chasing us around now. It, yeah, I have no idea. But that's progress anyway. So that's cool. So now we're not locked into a doomed passage of only being able to get ending G. We've broken the cycle, guys. We've broken the cycle. So enter living room one. Okay, so living room one is up here. Ah, shit, he's still there. Apparently we have to, like, what does it say, wait a few minutes? That's a little bit annoying. Now, do we actually have to wait a few minutes? Or... Is it, like, how many rooms we go through? Let's go back into here. And then back through here. Because he's blocking our way. Which is not very helpful. He's still up there. Damn it. You can't be serious. We can't literally actually have to wait a few minutes. Surely. I mean, that's just silly. Waiting a few minutes. Ugh. So, guys, how's the weather? Yeah, so, apparently, he'll disappear to another room. Then we've got to go back upstairs. And talk to the guy there. Then 
Then we have to go do an optional mission. See, I wish when it said optional in the guide, it said um, why that's optional. Like, is that going to lead us to another ending or what? Yeah, so we, it says it's optional, but we're going to do it anyway. Enter bedroom four through the balcony. So, give, uh, make sure you don't see a corpse in the chair. If you do, that means you cannot get the A ending. Yeah, on our first playthrough, there was the corpse in the chair when we got there. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if Nobed's disappeared yet, because we really are just like wasting time. Yes, he's gone. Okay. So now we need to go into dining room. Not dining room. Living room one. And there should be a dude in here that we can talk to. So we don't have to wait super long, but we have to wait long enough for it to be annoying. Ah, he is in here. So I'm guessing we have to uh, turn on the switch, yeah. Because I think, didn't we talk to him as Bates first time round? I can't actually remember now. Uncle Philip. Alyssa, you're okay. Uh, so far. Uncle Philip, what happened? Oh, time to explain now. You've got to hide. That's all he's going to say, huh? Okay. All right, then. So. So, I'm going to save it. Now, we're, we're, so far, we've done everything correct. At least... <clears throat> At least I think we have. So let's save it there. So. Now we've got to go back to bedroom three and inspect this. Okay. Cool. Let's do this. Uh, no. Perfectly okay with having that on, actually. Although Mr. Philip might get murdered, but we don't care about Philip. I mean... He seems to be withholding stuff from us. Bit of a douchebag, if you ask me. Okay, so now we're in there. That should... No, that's bedroom three directly ahead of us. According to my low-tech map system. Yes. So, where is... So, apparently there's a key in here. Somewhere. Tells us to collect the key, but I don't see where the key is. Oh, okay. Found the key to the drawer. That's optional, apparently. But we have it anyway. Statue? Now we have to examine that. What is this? It, it's what possessed. Is this? <laughs> yeah, let's not like play with Has the some possessed. Kind of power. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, what is the deal with that? Like, I still don't know. Are we dealing with supernatural stuff? Or are we still dealing with, like, the the virus or both? I, I don't know. It's kind of odd to say. Oh, shit. Hey, fat. Hello. Didn't see you there, my dude. Right. Now, we've got a fork in the road here. A different vein in the butterfly effect. So, here, we can... Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm definitely getting ahead of myself here. We need to go back upstairs.
enter bedroom four through balcony one. Shit. Now we gotta wait for our friend to disappear. Or can we run past him? Should we try it? Let's see if we can run past him. Let's make another save there because I don't know if going down here and deviating has blown our run. Oh no, he's already gone anyway. Okay, so... The balcony... was in the living room. Yeah. Now we need to make sure there's no body here. If there's a body, we done fucked up. The balcony... If I remember... Is that the balcony? That kind of looks like it goes outside. Yes. Now there shouldn't be a body here. If there is, we've done fucked up. No, we're good. Hang on. Hmm. This isn't the bedroom that we need, is it? Ah, there's the light that we can turn on. How do we get to bedroom four? Uh, sure. That was it. Let's check this out again. So, enter bedroom four through balcony one. Ah, right, okay. I think we've gone wrong here. Yeah, we have. We need to go back through here. My bad, my bad. Hopefully we haven't just fucked this up. So this is living room one. But we don't need to be in here. We need... Is this... That's not bedroom four. So where's bedroom four? Ah, I'm being stupid. See, I was actually tempted to draw my own maps for this. Bedroom 4 should be this one. Now, if there's a body here, we're fucked. The door is locked. Ah, we need to go through bedroom two. Yeah. Is it this one or is it the other one? Yes, this one. Cool. I see. That was confusing. Because you have to unlock this one by going right round. Now, please say everything's fine and we haven't screwed up horribly. Ooh. Stephanie? Okay, that was strange. But there's no body in the chair. Great. We're doing it, guys. I We're winning. Where Michael went. I have no idea, but Michael's not dead, so profit. Now, there's a key in this room that we need to find. So if I was a key, where would I be? I'm guessing not in there. Oh, lucky guess. I actually would have thought the key would have been on his um, table, but okay. Uh, right. 
Anything else we can search in here? We can use that to slap um, Stephanie around with, but we don't need to. Okay, cool. So we can go back out there. But now... Right. Optional. Enter bedroom one. Turn on switch and unlock. Bedroom one was... That's living room. Bedroom one. Okay. Well, if that's optional, we'll go do it. Because we want to make sure we do everything. to. Uh, so we hopefully have all the options to get all the endings. Ah, piss. Uh, hey, fella. Can we not move at all? I guess we cannot. We're dead. Oh, okay. We're not dead. Right, run. Or, you know, run back the way we came. Which I suppose, giving these under these circumstances is perfectly understandable. Right, so we need to try and avoid that going that way. Uh, hopefully this way we'll avoid it. Because we should come out in a different door. Hopefully he's going to be, if he is still in that corridor, he's going to be the other... Ah, mate, you're having a fucking laugh. All right, you're literally having a fucking laugh right now, and I'm not having it. No, sir, I am not having it. Son of a bitch. I mean, honestly, fucks you think he is? Prick, following me around like that. There's no need for it. Good. Dickhead. All right, let's go. Back to bedroom one. Although we haven't been to bedroom one yet, I don't think. No, we haven't. <sighs> Actually had a feeling you might be out here then. And I'm so glad that we can skip these bits. Skip these little transitions between the rooms. Because they're just so bad. Ooh, good. Right now this should be bedroom one. I think. No, that is not bedroom one. Or is that bedroom one? Yes, this is bedroom one. Um, okay. Interesting. Look at the size of that TV, though. Holy crap. Yes, this is what we want. Now, this is optional. But I want to get everything... We possibly can. Oh, we got a first aid kit. That was actually useful. All right. Now, has that used that key up? It has. Cool. Okay. So now. Ah, I remember this bit. We might as well get this done. This is where the game starts vomiting all the different endings at you. What are we on? Oh, we're on half an hour, to be honest. So, considering we're on half an hour, I might leave it here, guys. And then when we come back, we should be able to finish up this section and then head on to the next one. <sighs> well, this isn't exactly how I planned on playing this game through, but at least we've tried it blind anyway. And now we're going to go back and get all the endings, which, you know, why not? Well, at least I hope we're going to get all the endings. I don't want to promise that because I was going to say, actually, if I have to play through this again, I'll probably be a little bit annoyed. But if I have to play through it again, I guess we do. I mean, I've got everything I need here to get all the endings. <sighs> I mean, how? I suppose if we're going to play this shitty game, we might as well play through all of it. Am I right? Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, till next time.